this is the best bread that we always get when we're in Mammoth. We've got our coffee. Good job, Aaron. Thank you. Oh, this is good. This is a good sound. Yeah. Good Look at that. How do you feel about catching the first catch of the day? Um, I feel good. Um, you know, there's not a lot of competition out here, so <laughs> sometimes it gets boring uh, being the best. Yeah, but I, I strive to be the best, so I ask for this. It's just another day. Another day on Convict Lake. Okay. Yeah, but you have to remember to be humble the whole time. Humility goes a long way, you know? So I try to practice humility whenever I can. Okay, I think you're done. Aaron, where are we right now? We are near Rock Creek Lake, heading up some streams to do some stream fishing. Look at my fish! Ah, it's like as big as my face. This is my personal best. <laughs> okay, we're back at Big Meadow. This is where I caught my personal best, <laughs> personal best rainbow. So the one not so fun thing about fishing is that you can get snared on anything. It could be a stick, it can be a log, whatever, and you lose everything. So that's what happened to me. I got a new hook and then I got another weight. I'm gonna put the hook on. They're kind of just going to like loop it five times. Okay. And then that string, you're gonna pull it through the hole and then you're gonna tie a little knot. All right, once the hook is on, you're just gonna get some pliers. You're gonna just cut off the um, excess string, like so. And then you're gonna get your weight, and then you're basically just gonna, like a couple inches away from your hook. And with your pliers, you're just going to make sure um, it's closed tightly, okay, like so. And now you're ready to fish again! So Erin and I usually just use this um, Power Braid Natural Scent Salmon Egg. Um, but basically we kind of just roll it into a ball and then you put it on top of the, um, the hook. So you're essentially covering the hook so that, you know, when the fish finds it and they're like num 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 like nimbling on it and then surprise it's a hook and then they get hooked and then that's when you reel in the fish. Aaron caught the first fish. Dead. chilling it inside of our tent. It's perfect weather today. Not too cold, not too hot. And I think it's gonna be a good night. The last time we were here, <laughs> it was very windy. It was so bad. Here, I'll include a clip of how windy it was here. Welcome back. Yeah, as you can see in that clip, it was very windy. 
The thing with wind and sleeping in a tent is not the fact that your tent is shaky, it's more so the noise that it makes. If you're wondering what happened to my <laughs> finger, it's really dry up here and my hand is like cracking. And so I put a crap ton of Vaseline on my finger and wrapped it in a giant band-aid. Chef Aaron, is, what are we eating tonight? This is a uh, <laughs> traditional Korean dish. It's called booty stew. And they call it booty stew because it smells like booty. Right? So what did you put in here? Uh, everything that we had in the fridge. <laughs> booty stew! Booty stew! <laughs> Good morning. It's um, the next day. Slept absolutely fantastic. It was dead quiet. And um, now Alicia out there, you can see, she's making some coffee. And then we're gonna go for a hike. Let's walk back here for a second. This is what we heard all night, and it's like white noise just push you to sleep. Shout out to Juliet for these amazing Yeti uh, cups. It was actually really nice. It wasn't too bad. It was like short, sweet, but by the time we were heading back down, it was getting super hot, so I feel like we came at a good time. And now we're grabbing some drinks and some pizza. All right, Aaron started eating the pizza, but we got the feasting pizza here, and then some calamari. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Those thighs. <laughs> the executive chef over there is cooking up something delicious for dinner while the sous chef is just chilling. Chef, what are we eating tonight? Dirty dog. What is dog. a dirty dog? It's a Korean cuisine. We get the dirtiest of dogs from the cages. Oh, okay. Or dogs. No. <laughs> wow. How is it? Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. We're at Iris Meadow. Um, it's just like a small stream. Um, usually we get a couple bites here, so we just stopped at one more spot before we head back down. Hey, I caught one! It's a very tiny one. Because it's such a tiny one, we're gonna catch and release. Bye bye. Oh, I think it's dead. Oh, no, it's alive. It's going! Hi, fishy. Alright, so we got some sweet and spicy beef jerky. How much should we get? Half pound. It's pretty pricey, um, but it's like... Worth it. Yeah, we also got habanero Spicy. beef jerky. Yeah, these are really good. If you guys are in the Bishop area, would highly recommend.
Aaron, where are we and why are we here? We are right here in Bishop. Look at the map. I mean, look at the map. Right here in Bishop. And Bishop is this restaurant and it's called Aaron Schatz Roadhouse. My name is Aaron and so is the owner of this restaurant. So from another Aaron to another Aaron, I decided to support the small business and come here for lunch. So I got a jalapeno burger, some garlic parmesan fries, and then... I got the hot shot burger, hot which is a pulled, pulled, pulled pork burger with a bunch of other stuff. Approximately three and a half more hours on the road. So here we go, McDonald's! 